We've looked at how to select emails in Gmail and now it's the turn of Outlook. Slight difference in how you do it. So um, because I've got my reading pane open, when I click on my email in the list it simply shows me the email which means that I don't have the selection tools. However I've got some different options so let's take a look at those today. Hi, I'm Michelle, a computer coach, here sharing tips and tricks for your everyday programs to make life just that little bit easier. So here I am in Outlook and I have selected a single email, so that's fine. But what if I want to select more? Well, depending on what I want, I've got slightly different ways to do it. So I'm going to scroll up to the top of my list. And if I want to select specific emails, all I need to do is to, with the first one selected, so let's select the first one, with it selected, hold down the control key on my keyboard, so T C T R L, and just click on whichever ones I want. I'm holding down the control key, and you can see as I click, they're now selected. Quick tip, if I let go of my keyboard and I click again, you'll see that I deselect everything, so just be aware of that. But once they're selected, all I then need to do with the con um, holding down the control key to select them, all I need to do is whatever command I want and it apply to all of those. So that's great if I want specific emails. If I've got them selected but I don't need them any, a particular one anymore, let's say I, I don't need this one from Cara, keep holding down the control key, click on it a second time and you'll see it's now deselected. So control to select specific messages anywhere in my list. But let's say actually I want a number of emails for let's say all of today's and all of yesterday's. So in that respect, again I can click on the first one that I want to select, scroll down, I'm not clicking on anything, I'm just scrolling down the screen until I find the last one that I want, so that was yesterday. And now what I'm going to do is hold down the shift key, so that's the one that you use to get capital letters on your keyboard um, next to the to the front and the backslash hold down the shift key and now I click and you can see I've got those selected. As I scroll you can see they're all highlighted in blue and that's done. Again now I can perform whatever commands I want. To deselect all of them I just need to single click and here's a quick tip for you. If you need it, if you need to select from somewhere to either the beginning or the very end then a better tip is to actually select the last one uh, so that's the one in the middle of the list and scroll. The reason I do it this way around, so that's in this case the bottom to the top, is that when I finish scrolling I can't scroll anymore. So that way I know that I've reached the end and I can hold down my shift key and select them again. Now if I want to deselect a few specific ones I can go back to my control key so let's say I don't need this one, hold down the control and you can see as long as I'm hold, I've held down the control key before I click it actually deselects the one that I've selected that I've clicked on. Now what if I need all of them? That's the easy one actually because I've got a shortcut key for it. So if you are a Windows user you're going to do Control A so that's select all and of course if you're a Mac user it's going to be Command A instead. In this case when I click on my shortcut key it may think depending on how many emails I've got and it's selected all of them. Unlike Gmail, you'll notice it actually has selected every single email in this folder, not just what's on the screen that I can currently see. Again, if I want to des deselect things, all I need to do is click on any one email and it simply selects that specific one for me instead. If you like this quick tip then please do give the video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and click that notification bell to be told when new emails, new videos come through.